we created this uh, table which is in relation with our uh, listing logic for our component so uh, when we access particular particular uh, component we are able to check all the existing data we are also able to add new data so our CMS is kind of makes sense now uh, so uh, let's uh, let's what we can do is to uh, at, some, at some moment we will have uh, a lot of data for example we may have a lot of data here in the profile table or in the user table as well so what we need to do is to create a um, functionality that will let you the user to search by specific criteria so and uh, we are not not uh, talking about only uh, only to search and for a front-end search and what we mean is uh, actually the logic that we will search the backend way uh, in this in this table so let's see what we we'll have now we have this in index PHP file and we have the columns provided template data f components uh, okay so again we may add the components here the template okay they are provided here and uh, let's try to generate or maybe we can uh, reuse even we can reuse our uh, what we already created here for our creation logic but it's a good idea to try at least try to reuse them so as you can see this uh, template use exactly uh, the same variables uh, which we need and we want to use in this case in this listing logic so basically uh, this one we need we want to include this now this one but we want to include it before before this template so let's try it let's try to do to include this one first and what okay so we can see that we can say that uh, the fields exist but they are they are not with populated um, filter values let's check why that is why because here we not extract uh, yeah I know why because here we not calling this logic let's call this logic now and as you can see we have provided all the components that we need so what else uh, we want to do is to kind of make different style when this component is loaded as a filters uh, so it, maybe it's 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 not so wrong to be that but we will try to make it uh, in line um, we may we may add some classes here um, so in this component we may check if the rows exist okay components and when the rows exist we may have another class here so for example template data template data rows 
is set in this case we want to add to class for example which class listing let's say listing okay and in other case we in other case it's not the listing but it's create okay i think it's good closing here all right let's check if we have this quest now then no we don't have it we don't have it because we need to add print here and now we have it we know that this is the listing uh, so knowing that we can provide some styles for that listing class which components so when it's listing the components itself uh, they have some diffs yes they have some diffs which let's say is the component itself so we want this diff to be in line so what we can do is uh, to float it left let's try it all right it's not bad and i think it's good enough for now and also uh, also this one i think it's better to put it here in the main template and leave it here from the listing okay let's check so now it's in the main template that why it's here uh, we first Code this main template and then code the other ones. Then code the component, then code the and then code the, the listing template. So for okay, now it's better. It's kind of cache. So we have this profile component. And if we want to create it, again we can see it in the, the correct form. But if you want, uh, let's add another button here in the main. The other button will be leading to the default page. Maybe it's just better for. And it will. It will provide the listing functionality. Okay, at first. All right, and also we need. Uh, we want this to be. Let's put some style here. So. Mm, the this is the this is a sub or maybe second secondary secondary uh, nav navigation okay and we want that secondary navigation. Uh, 
provide the elements this way. Okay, so let's also have uh, some margin here, margin, margin left uh, will be this one, right, right at about the margin right, okay, so margin right, it's, it's okay now. And also the profile component will be in a separate leak because it's not I don't know here it's if I put clear bot no No. No. Still. Okay, let's maybe create this one. Display block. It's because of the fault. The so if it's not fault, but it's displaying inline block, what will happen? Okay, it's it's better, it's better. So we can keep it that way. Now we go to listing. We see all the data here with their. Uh, fields and let's put some margins here in this case uh, the component maybe let's try to display inline block to see what will happen the same is good enough and let's put some margin here so for example margin right um, 10 pixels Okay, I think it's good. So, in the next tutorial, we are going to uh, have some search logic related to this filter.